Hi, hello everyone, it's Magda from Centrala and today I'm cooking and I'm going to be cooking um, so-called kopytka which is a Polish version of probably a bit well-known, a uh, bit better known uh, gnocchi which is an Italian dish uh, but Polish version is a bit is a bit different you use the whole egg not just the egg the part of the egg which Italians do and it's quite easy it's very simple but I really hope you enjoy it and let's start cooking we will need mushrooms potatoes, butter, onion, flour, smetana, which is basically sour cream, uh, garlic and salt and pepper. So first thing you do, you boil potatoes and once they are boiled, like, like here, you need to make a puree out of them and you have the proper, um, proper thing to make a puree, it's going to be a lot faster but I'm just going to destroy them with, with a fork basically just like smashing them uh, so they become one smooth paste okay. once you have all the potatoes mixed together you will need an egg and flour and it's just about getting the rice the right texture of it and sometimes if you have lots of potatoes you will have to add another egg or if you have uh, smaller smaller eggs we'll see how it goes it's just like I said getting the right the right texture Okay, so this is how um, how it's supposed to look like. So I didn't have to use a second egg; it just went all right. The egg makes it sticky, and if you are vegan, you don't use eggs. You need to. You can use uh, flaxseed to make it sticky, or uh, oats as well. But then the texture is going to be different. And now we will be cutting our kopytka. So you need. If you have proper uh, wooden work dog, that should be absolutely fine, but I'm using this small one. You need a bit of flour for dusting. Just a bit of flour here so it does not stick to the wood. And then you take some of your paste and you roll it so it looks like a long sausage. And then if, if it's sticking to your hands, just use a bit more flour, it will stick into mine a bit more. So I just dusted uh, the, the, work, uh, the work top a bit more and that should be alright, you see it's not stuck into my hands. And then you, didn't, you need a knife and you just cut it. So to properly make this you need to have it angled so it has the right shape, like this. So when you have your water boiling, you basically take your kopytka and put them in the water. So as you can see, they are coming on top and now we'll just wait one more minute. Uh, you don't want to boil them too long because then they're going to be too soft and you don't want to boil them not enough because they'll just be hard. So now 
uh, for the sauce you will need like we mentioned mushrooms and then you just cut them as you wish really When you see that it slowly starts to get brown, you can add your mushrooms. And the important thing is not to add salt at this point because salt is just going to take the water away from mushrooms and it's going to get very watery whilst you want to get the flavour out first. mushrooms are um, the, the water basically just disappeared from them it's important to put this aside for a bit so it's not like piping hot and then you have your sour cream and you will start slowly adding it to the mushrooms but the important thing is not to have this like piping hot This is a part of our Centrala Connecting Communities project and if you want more of similar recipes from Central Eastern European countries go to our YouTube channel or our social media, everything is there and yeah, cook, cook Central Eastern European dishes more because they are easy and delicious. Thank you.